Ever since I started this channel on YouTube way back in 2004, I have been repeating the news that CB radio is dead and has been replaced by GMRS. Or at a minimum, the argument can be made that GMRS is in the process of replacing CB radio, which nobody can deny is dying out. And every single time that I say this, some people leave comments on the videos that both breathlessly and furiously proclaim that I'm wrong and that CB radio is alive and well just as much, if not more, than it was back in the 1980s. They usually go on to build their case for CB radio by saying that using a CB radio base station with a big antenna on the roof and under the right conditions and when the weather is perfect and when the sunspots are just right, they can use their CB radio to talk with anonymous men from hundreds or even thousands of miles away. Something that even in the best of conditions, GMRS cannot do, but most normal people have no interest in doing. So in this very short video, I am going to explain why people that claim CB radio is as popular as ever are wrong, and why GMRS has officially replaced CB radio pretty much in the same way that the automobile has replaced the horse. Of course, and obviously people still do ride horses, but the majority of people now use an automobile instead of a horse for doing the practical things that they need to do every day, like driving to work, the grocery store, or for making the occasional late night trip to the local highway rest stop. And it's the same thing with GMRS and CB radio. So first of all, you must understand and accept these two very undeniable truths. Number A, not many people are using a CB radio with a base station and a big antenna on their roof anymore. I didn't say none, I didn't say nobody, I said not many, and certainly far fewer than 30 years ago. And number two, for the last 30 years or so, most CB radio use has been in cars and trucks. And the vast majority of that usage has been replaced by cell phones. It's just a fact. You can't deny this. Some people will even say that it was cell phones that killed CB radio and not GMRS. But that's not as clickbaity to say. So nobody uses CB radio base stations and virtually no normal person has a CB radio installed in their vehicle these days. But there is still a small segment of the population that requires communication while out of cell phone service areas, whilst off-roading or overlanding or even highway caravanning or whatever, but they don't want the hassle or expense of installing a big CB radio or a GMRS radio in their vehicle. So they choose to use a handheld radio. And this is where the advantage of GMRS over CB radio becomes undeniably clear. These smart people have discovered that using a handheld GMRS radio in your vehicle can give just as many FARs whilst driving as a built-in mobile CB radio. But what really put the snail in the coffin of CB radio is that until recently, you couldn't even buy a handheld CB radio. And if you do have one, like this, you would very quickly discover why when using a radio with a small antenna, like on a handheld HT walkie-talkie radio, GMRS is far superior. Using a handheld CB radio like this, in good conditions, meaning with line of sight from an elevated position will give you about half a mile or so of FARs, give or take. Whereas with pretty much any $30 GMRS radio in those exact same identical conditions, you can get 10 or 20 miles of FARs. And even in poor conditions, pretty much any handheld HT GMRS walkie-talkie radio is going to give you many more FARs than any handheld CB radio and often even more FARs than a built-in mobile CB radio can give. And this is not just because GMRS radio transmits with more power, and I'm not even talking about making use of a repeater on GMRS, which you can't even do with a CB radio, which would give you even more FARs. The reason is the difference in the frequencies that CB radios and GMRS radios use. CB radios operate in the 27 my gigahertz range, whilst GMRS radios operate in the 
462 my gigahertz range. And this means that due to the immutable and undeniable laws of physics, an antenna that is small enough to be practical for use on a handheld HT radio will perform far better on GMRS than a small antenna on a CB radio. You cannot argue this. You cannot deny it. It's just physics. So basically what I'm saying to you right now is physics killed CB radio. Hit four, good buddy. <laughs>